Revelation 4016. Good Friday the 4th of April 1947. I knock and you do not accept me. Whoever does not listen to me deprives himself of the greatest grace, and one day he will regret it when he has come to realize what my revelation means for the human being. I myself descend to earth and incline towards my creatures who do not make the slightest attempt to come close to me. I speak to them as a father speaks to his children. Words of love and try to win their hearts and make my children blissfully happy by instructing them and introducing them to the eternal truth. I offer them spiritual wealth, a treasure which is indestructible and which you can only receive from me, for which there is also no substitute, neither on earth nor in the beyond, and which assures you eternal life. For eternity I make provision that it will be blissful for you that you will live and not be doomed to spiritual death. And therefore I myself come to you in the word because I want to make you blissful creatures. And you do not accept me. You let me knock in vain and do not open the door of your heart to me, which I want to possess because I love you. And one day you will realize what a precious gift of grace you left unnoticed, and your remorse will be great. Yet I cannot tell you to accept my word, for you are of your own free will and have to decide for yourselves, and I also have to offer you the most precious gift, my word, in such a way that you are not forced to accept it. And therefore I have to convey it to you in such a way that you can indeed believe the divine origin but not prove it, for proof of it would be compulsory faith which I will never use if you are to attain the degree of perfection. Yet it will be easy for you to believe that the word originates from me, who is the word myself from eternity. For my word only teaches love, and anyone who seriously examines it will only recognize love in it and the divine origin will be undoubted to him, for love always demonstrates divinity, because love and I are one. But anyone who rejects without examining has no desire for me, for truth, for love for grace and for eternal life. And he will have only himself to blame for not having listened to me. And he will also prepare himself little for eternity. He will live without thinking how his life should be after the death of his body, he will only pay attention to his earthly life, and he will not hear my voice because he will let it be drowned out by the voice of the world. And the end will come the day when everything will be cleared away and only those will be saved who have become my own, who accept my word and live accordingly and thus have a rich treasure of grace at their disposal which will make them blissfully happy in the spiritual kingdom. In eternity. Amen.